2004 Chevy Trailblazer this is going to be um, radiator replacement this is the 4.2 liter with the six cylinders 99 cents tool here and now I'm gonna pull it out from here here just make sure you don't lose them because they are so small make sure you have a bucket on the floor I'm gonna start by removing the 10 millimeter bolt here. The 10 millimeter bolt here. And then, and then loosen. Ten millimeter bolt over here, and then another ten here uh, from here. Put it here. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay, I have that wrench here. Uh, to lock this uh, nut to grab it from here with a 36 millimeter nut here I mean wrench this is 36 millimeter uh, wrench oops now I, I hope the camera could pick that up but 36 millimeter wrench this is uh, 36 36 millimeter wrench and uh, you lock it with this thing here remember this is 2004 Chevy Trailblazer seems like I got it out this uh, 10 millimeter bolt here for the fan uh, cover right there and another one on this side here Oops, this one only turning and turning. Now that's a problem when one of them only turns and turns. I'm gonna be holding, I'm gonna see if I can hold it with a 10 millimeter wrench right there. So, it's turning right there. Now I take the conductor off here. It's kind of hard. Let's press on the tap here. Kind of the way here. Now, what you do is you push the right little kind of back here. It's a clip here. First, you pull it out straight, right there. And now, push, uh, push this here till it comes on top of the of the mouse of the hose here, right there. Right here, here. That's the radiator. This uh, hose for uh, the connector, right there. Don't worry about that, just leave it like that. Okay, I'm gonna be taking these two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the um, condenser with the radiator on both sides. Right there. Right here. And they're coming out, I think. Right there. As you see, I have a bucket right there. Right there. Okay, the next step here, I'm gonna pry this out from here. It's good to put a little bit of oil, I think. Right there. Right here. I lift up the condenser in order for the clips in the bottom because this is, this has some clips that is attached to this. So you cannot pull out the radiator. You cannot pull up the radiator till you don't take, this is what I'm gonna do here. Okay, right now I'm gonna use my two hands to put the camera right there. Okay, right now, see? Oops, I did it. Beautiful. 
All right now, this uh, radiator is ready to come out. It's almost up. That's where on those clips. That's where the um, condenser is inserted. So if you pull it up, it won't let you because the condenser is inserted there on both sides. So that's why, since the condenser is here, that's why I lift it up so it can it, it can move it out on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna be installing the new radiator right now. Don't forget to uh, these bushings. And this is the new one and just uh, take a quick look at the radiator if um, the new radiator uh, bring some clips sometimes they don't and uh, to this one here so now you have to lift up again in order to you have to lift up uh, the condenser in order for the clips to be on the other side the same way they were now I gotta lift up this uh, rate, uh, condenser in order to put it to set it on the clips remember? ok beautiful you just lift it up a little bit and set it on the clips of the uh, new radiator in this case I'm gonna be throwing some a uh, little bit of oil on these things here and a little bit of oil here Right there. Okay, I'm gonna be doing this uh, pipe right now. Um, I prefer to do this one here first. This is the clip here. Hardly can be seen, so small. Now, it doesn't go anywhere. I have to make sure. Oops. Can I hit it too hard because this is very sensitive. Right there. Okay, I uh, replaced a uh, claim here. I left the face down and the lower radiator hose. You got it pull, it, uh, pull it here in order to place the, this that's it. And these, the plastic cover has some pins, like a pins, you have to put them in the holes there. Okay, now, uh, last thing I'm gonna show on camera is uh, the fan here. Now because the engine turns, I gotta use the tool again. I'm gonna use the tool here. Alright, beautiful. Okay, right now this comes in place here. And this should be it. And then uh, fill up the radiator. Make sure you bleed out the radiator. Okay, just uh, really quick. Uh, I bolt down right there. This uh, here. Here. This, uh, this one right there, the 13, I mean this one, I didn't touch them. Uh, here, here, and uh, I'm going to replace a little bit of uh, oil that came out from the transmission, less than a quarter. Before that, but before replacing oil, I'm going to check the oil first to see how is the level. I'm going to replace whatever uh, is left to replace, and if it's too, uh, if it's too high, then if it's uh, okay, sometimes some people uh, overfill the transmission which is not good uh, then I'm gonna leave it like that it all depends also make sure uh, there are no leaks beneath uh, you check everything uh, do not go away when you turn on the car when you do one of these jobs uh, also also uh, connect this don't forget to connect this for the radiator fan I mean for the fan clutch and uh, I already put any freeze here I'm gonna turn it on right now put any freeze there too and the uh, reservoir and I already uh, check the oil and the transmission there and it's good so I don't need to replace anything it's a little overfill a little bit so 
I'm gonna keep it on and I'm gonna keep it running for about uh, 20 minutes that's the average 20 minutes but if it has to be more if it's uh, throwing uh, air I'm gonna do it with the cap off and with the cap off there too and the reservoir um, and gotta keep it watching for any leaks or anything thanks for watching